So the point of it is, where are we going for WrestleMania? Well, it is uh, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns for the title. And uh, my presumption is that uh, the story will be Brock must choose once and for all who he's going to go with since, uh, you know, he was with Brock forever. Then he went with Roman. Then he allegedly left Roman for Brock again. And then it was a swerve. And now he's back with Roman. So uh, will he make a final decision at WrestleMania? That is the uh, that's the main event. The women's match is at this point. Uh, plans could change, but I don't think they're going to. Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair. Do you guys remember? Of course you remember, because I had to hear about it for three years now. Do you guys remember uh, WrestleMania 2019? I do. I do, because I was there at 12.15 when the show ended, a.m. And then it took me five hours to get home. Anyway, so uh, the main event was a three-way. It was Ronda and Charlotte and uh, and Becky. And, uh, oh, man, those fans wanted that one-on-one match. But WWE's decision was, well, it is the main event. It's closing WrestleMania. And let's get two seasoned great workers in there with Ronda. And the match is going to be better. That's what they thought. And uh, I also thought it would be better as a three-way and looks like I'll find out eventually. Anyway, so uh, they did the match, and uh, what happened was Becky didn't pin Ronda for the win because Ronda's shoulder came up, uh, but Becky was given the pin and the two titles anyway. It was a botch, okay? And that was the last that we saw of Ronda. So knowing that, Ronda comes back here and she wins the Royal Rumble, and to me and everyone else with, uh, you know, two functioning brain cells, there's exactly one obvious match. And that is Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch. Because Becky took her title, but her shoulder wasn't down. You can't even argue that he wants, she wants Charlotte because she held the other. She didn't hold the other title. She held the title that Becky has right now. So there's like no logical scenario that anyone can come up with for why Ronda would choose Charlotte, especially because she just eliminated Charlotte from the Rumble. But I'm sure they've got some plan, and uh, it will be Ronda versus Charlotte. Now, in real life, why are they doing this match and not Ronda and Becky? Well, because Ronda is here through at least next year's WrestleMania. And uh, perhaps from there, she'll continue on. But she's signed from now through next year's WrestleMania. And so clearly the idea is the two biggest matches that we can do with Ronda Rousey are Ronda versus Charlotte and Ronda versus Becky. And Ronda versus Becky is the bigger match. And so Ronda will, I'm sure, beat Charlotte at WrestleMania this year to take the title. And then uh, we'll go on to next year's WrestleMania, and it will be Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch for either both titles or whatever title or whatever, and that will be the big match a year from now. So that appears to be where they're going, and now I can hear everyone complain about it for the next uh, 18 months or whatever. And they probably will because I'll have reason to complain about it. It's... uh... You know, for me, I hope at some point during this run, because why do you bring in a Ronda Rousey? You bring her in to take advantage of her name and her hype and her appeal, but you're eventually you want to use somebody from the outside to make stars and to put over people and to elevate folks who are on the cusp and... You know, we'll see how it goes, but there's all those matches that we've already seen. The one I'm really interested in down the line is Ronda and Bianca Belair because Ronda's name could do a lot for Bianca Belair. Uh, Bianca is obviously a athlete that's incredibly special there. She's got... Again, for they haven't ruined her or anything like that. Have they been perfect with her? No. You know, would I have had her lose the belt to Becky in the way that she did and lead to all that sort of stuff? No. <laughs> but that's what they do, and you have to suffer through it. So for me, it, it, that's the one because Sasha's already a star. You know, Charlotte's already a star. Becky Lynch is already a star. Now, where they're – how – Brightly, their stars are shining. Well, it depends on the moment in time with WWE, but they're all stars already. Bianca's a star, too, but 
you know, she hasn't, to me, hit that crossover level yet. They haven't put that rocket behind her, that push behind her to kind of make her, you know, bigger than than anyone else. And I think Ronda Rousey can really do that physically with these two working with each other. You know, it's an exciting prop, you know, proposition there. So we're going to have what we're having going through WrestleMania. But I think the big news is that Ronda's going to be around. And if Ronda's going to be around, there's a lot of people that, you know, she can work with. And, and Bianca's a big glowing person on that list. Here, listen, everybody. First off, the idea that uh, Ronda and Charlotte fans are going to hate both of them. Maybe, maybe the fans will. But uh, if you didn't see the Rumble last night, Ronda Rousey got a massive baby face pop when she came out in the rumble and she got a massive baby face pop when she eliminated charlotte flair i realized that she was booed three years ago but it's three years later you know what else i remember from three years ago fans absolutely never wanted to see a roman reigns brock lesnar match again and now i don't know about how they uh maybe not you know after what happened there, but they were totally into that match when it was going to take place at day one. So, like, things can change. And Charlotte, I'm I'm pretty sure, is going to be an effective, dislikable heel. So I don't think there's any guarantee whatsoever that Ronda is going to be booed facing Charlotte at WrestleMania. Furthermore, if you're also unhappy about uh, the fact that it's not Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch, this does open the door for Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair and Bianca Belair getting her revenge at WrestleMania and beating Becky for that title, which I actually think is what they're going to do. But we will... I don't want to say what find else out are soon. you... Well, it's like, what else would you do? Because on paper... Nothing, it's like, of course what, I would do well, that. that's the whole thing. It's like, what else are you going to do? So, I mean, I'm you know, unfortunately for, you know, we'll see what they do. But, you know, they, they, there's on paper, there's that's a no-brainer, so... It is Wrestling Observer Live today. I'm Oreo the Orca. Do you have a blowhole rating system? Like, if you're really excited about a match, it gives you yeah, six this, squirts? Yeah, this match was, was uh, two and three-quarter holes, if you must know. So I was watching this show, and they had a bunch of videos for this Liv Morgan about how, oh, my whole life I've been a wrestling fan. Oh, I'm going to win my first title ever. There's children cheering and going, oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I do indeed. <laughs> hey, Danhausen, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear Danhausen? Hey, look at that, holy hey. mother of God, look what we've done here. You broke a leg, is that true? Uh, it was broken in half, snapped in two. The doctor said it was a tibia and a fibia. Uh, I'm a whale and not a doctor, but is it not a fibula and not a fibia? A fibula? What I know. Perhaps what? the doctor lied to Danhausen. You know, Danhausen, if you were a whale, you wouldn't have broken your leg. This is true because whales don't have legs. What did you grow up watching as a little evil man? Kane ripping off the door when he debuted. Yes. How old were you, Dan Helsen, when that match took place? Oh, about, uh, what was that, 1997, so about 700 years old. Oh. Also, one time Dan Helsen had Dolph Ziggler's theme song as his alarm and it went off in class. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, it's true. Dan Helsen likes Dolph Ziggler. You like Dolph Ziggler? He's good matches. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.